all right welcome back to soulflow tv again everybody it is your host with the most just go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on soulflow tv for those of you who've been following this one done um clansman gang trial testimony and what's going on in the courts thing here's another video from us i believe now we are up to about video number 17 or 18 so in case you missed what's been going on just go back through our history and watch the videos from one all the way up till now and you will have quite a good understanding right better understanding than the persons out of road who just passing remarks and not keeping up with what is actually being revealed in this case so shout out to the jamaica gleaner the prosecution's second witness in the clansman gang trial yesterday testified that an ex-soldier accused of being a member of the Wandan gang had spent his free days and free time guarding the reputed leader Andre Blackman Bryan. So he was a soldier, but he was moonlighting or doing extra work on the side for the leader of the Wandan gang, which makes him a member of the gang or employed by the leader of the gang either way the witness previously testified that the ex-soldier defendant Jermaine Robinson had disclosed to him that he was a member of the Jamaica Defense Force now what I'm wondering is this the last the last article before this one that they posted Jermaine was a soldier he was found at Up Park camp he was searched and he was told to put on civilian clothes and come with us and they took him down to the station for questioning then so now i am realizing that they are referring to him in news media reports as ex-soldier i'm wondering did he put in a resignation and his resignation was approved or did he quit because you can't just quit the army like that not from what i know about the army you're under contract and when your contract expires then you can walk away has his contract expired or did he tender a resignation that was approved is what i want to know so anytime you all hear me say ex-soldier just know say i'm referring to jermaine robinson the same person that is referred to in this whole situation right yes, sir. and they had disclosed to him that he was a member of the jamaica defense force is what the witness had said he said that he had seen Jermaine Robinson at the Jones Avenue Spanish Town base of the gang in St. Catherine and at the home of the alleged Don's personal driver guarding black man with a gun. But during cross-examination yesterday, Robinson's lawyer Roxanne Smith suggested that her client was never a guard body or bodyguard for the reputed leader of any gang. Further, she said that the witness is lying. Witness also sought, Smith also sought to discredit this witness account that Blackman had introduced him to the soldier. She suggested that the witness had met her client during one of his visits to his girlfriend on Jones Avenue as her client had been dating the girlfriend's sister. Hmm. Interesting. Were you not aware that during that time, Jermaine was also having a relationship with so-and-so? Is what the lawyer asked. But the witness, the witness said that as far as he knew, Robinson was actually dating one of black man's relatives. He wasn't dating no sister of no girl that I am dating. He was dating the boss relative. Lawyer says, I am suggesting that you are aware. That's how you both met, isn't it? The lawyer said that both men also had a conversation in which the witness told her client about her, his friends who sells Clarks and as a result is how they exchange numbers. Cause Solji do you want to buy Clarks? Cause Solji dating the sister of a girl that you was dating. 
So I'm asking about the clerks them and you gave him your number and tell him say you are gonna link him with the people who have links for the clerks. Isn't that how y'all exchange numbers? Boy them lie are good enough. You see that <laughs> you see them concoctions of Astoria. But the witness said that he could not recall any such encounter. Me and him are talk about no clocks and me are going to send him wedge parts we get clocks and exchanging number on that basis. Smith, the attorney, further suggested that based on that meeting, there was no need for any introduction by a black man because they had already met by that time. You dating the girl, he's dating the girl, sister of the girl, you're dating and then the clocks thing. You know, on a talk already, on an exchange number already. So by the time he came around to meeting black man, black man didn't have to introduce him to you because you had already known him, right? The lawyer further suggested that the witness had not seen her client on duty at a checkpoint in Spanish town and had asked him for black man's number, nor had he called the witness in 2018 saying he wanted to turn up back the thing. I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was one of these testimonies before that says this same soldier wanted to turn up back the thing. He didn't feel like enough people was getting killed in the area. He didn't feel like enough badness did have gone out there. He didn't feel like they were laying down the laws of the gang in the streets and making themselves be respected and feared and revered. Him feel like them they need to turn up back the thing. And they testified that that's what that soldier was on. And also about the checkpoint. But the witness maintained that his testimony about the soldier was all truthful. Everything women say about him is true. Not changing a thing, not deviating from anything. It is exactly as I said it was. Meanwhile, defense lawyer alexander shaw who is representing stephanie christie stephanie christie is the only woman among the 33 alleged gang members on this trial her lawyer alexander shaw suggested on thursday that his client stephanie knew black man since childhood and that they both grew up on jones avenue however when the suggestion was made, the witness denied being aware of any of that. Me never know nothing about them in that, that kind of a relationship, knowing each other how many years and all that. Further, he said, close friends don't try and kill close friends. Hmm. However, when the suggestion was made, the witness said, what? I had no idea they were childhood friends. I don't know nothing about that. Or... I didn't even know that both of them originated from Jones Avenue, the same place. Hmm. Then he said, furthermore, close friends don't try to kill close friends. So in other words, then them couldn't have been no damn close friends because somebody here was trying to kill somebody here. I'm wondering if he was saying that black man wanted this female dead or this female wanted black man dead. I don't know. We're going to have to wait to find out, but Friends or close friends don't try to kill close friends says a lot. Boy, I'm telling you about that life out in the streets. The streets don't love you like mama do. Stay out of the streets, youth. It's rough out there. Ain't no loyalty. But the attorney later suggested that he was the one who had tried to kill his client as he did not like her, which we went over this before. The witness, however, questioned why he would want her dead saying that they had a good relationship and then that he had no hate in his heart for her even if she harbored hate for him me and she don't have nothing even if she don't like me i don't have anything against her at all sir and we're going to leave it right there again for those of you who don't know this stands to be the longest running trial in jamaica's history right now and it's shaping up to be the biggest as well with 30 odd people being prosecuted at the same time under some suppression of criminal organizations act which carries 25 counts to this date all accused have said we are not guilty and they are in court fighting it out 40 plus witnesses to be questioned and they have only just begun so this is going to be a while 
Stay tuned to this movie as it unfolds like a Hollywood script. And I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.